Hi guys, welcome to next video. In the last session, we have seen how to import a file by using read underscore CSV. In this session, we'll see multiple parameters of read underscore CSV. Right. Now, we are going to be look at how to pass uh, a delimiter and how to skip uh, n number of rows, first initial rows, changing the column names, displaying n number of rows and skipping n number of footer rows of in this session. Right, so we'll jump on to practicals. First, we have to open Anaconda Navigator, then launch your Jupyter Lab. Once we have Jupyter Lab, we can work on coding part. So this is what we have did last week. And you just uh, when you run this particular execution, it will import the India cost sales.csv file. Now I'm going to be pass here my delimiter. To pass your delimiter, it has taken a default delimiter as comma. But now I'm passing delimiter directly here. Delimiter equal to its comma. You can execute it now. See, it has taken a delimiter is default comma. But let's say it is not a comma separated file. It is some other separated file. If you can see here, I have other file, India cost sales, but the delimiter is pipe delimiter. Now, I would like to import this particular file using delimiter of pipe. Now, so I'm not taking here CSV, it's my TXG file and my delimiter is pipe delimiter. You just need to replace your delimiter. So once you execute it, now it will show you a delimiter as pipe. If you place comma here as a delimiter, now all the columns will take as one single record. Now, to avoid that, we need to pass a correct delimiter as pipe. See here, now you can see perfect data. Right, so what's our next one? So how to skip first n number of rows? Now, to, to skip your first n number of rows, we have to pass skip rows parameter to read underscore CSV. So how many rows we want to skip? If you want to skip, let's say first three records, you just pass three here. And when you execute this one, you can see, it just skipped three records here. I'm going to be uh, removing this, uh, remove unnecessary cells, right. So it's, it skipped first three records. If you want to skip only one record, we just pass one. It's up to you how many records we want to skip here. So if you want to skip 10 records, you can pass 10 records. And it can, and it can skip all the 10 records. Now, so changing the column names. So how to change the column names? See, when you're trying to skipping the records, first 10 records, it is taking 2007 BMW 3522.8 as the column names. If you have a look at the data, if you can see the 11th record is taking as a header, but I would like to pass the header is not this one. I would like to pass my header as year, make, quantity, and market percentage share. So to pass your column names, here we need to mention names and names should be passed as a list. See here, here I have to pass first my, what's my first column name? Year. And you can place whatever the column name you want, comma. The second column name is maker, comma. The call, third column name is sale quantity, sales underscore quantity. Fourth column name is percentage of market share, right? Now you can execute this, see here. So it is keeping all the 10 records, first 10 records, and we are able to see the BMW maker as 
a record now. It's a first record. Earlier, that was move on to the header. Now I passed my header here, my column names here. That's why it just uh, just move the record, uh, just move the earlier header as a record now. This is how you can pass your column names. Now, so how to skip uh, a footer rows with the same one? So instead of skipping 10 rows over here, I'm trying to pass my skip footer rows. Skip footer equal to five. So it will skip the records from bottom up to five records, sorry, to the five records. See here, just skip all the five records from the bottom side. Right, and you can see here, it just gives a warning, C program and uh, the package is uh, giving a warning here, falling back to the Python engine because the C engine does not support skip, skip footer. You can avoid this warning by specifying engine equal to Python, right? So when you're trying to put a parameter skip footer, C engine does not support your particular skip footer, but Python engine can support it. To avoid the warning here, you need to pass engine equal to Python. Engine equal to Python. So just execute it now. See, we just avoid the warning. So when you specify skip footer, skip footer parameter, then only we need to mention engine equal to Python. Else, it's not required. If you want to pass C here, if you can pass C, see, that gives error. The C engine does not support skip footer. Clearly, it is showing the C engine does not support skip footer. So, it should be Python engine, right? I'm trying to execute. Now it will give a warning, you just ignore it. And skip footer equal to five. I'm just trying to remove this one. So see, now I don't have any skip footer. Uh, I don't have any skip rows, but I'm trying to pass my column names here. Year maker, sales and score quantity, percentage of market share. If you can see here, the column names are different now. If I want to pass these column names, which column names the engine should take? Whether it has to go with the, the, the original column names or the column names what I have mentioned. Whatever the columns you are trying to pass in the read underscore CSV parameter, that will take those columns only, instead of taking the original column names from here. So let's execute this one. See here, it will give the column names whatever we are passing to the parameter. Right. Now, if you can remove this one, it's regular as usual. It can take now the columns which are available in the file. Now, so you can put header equal to zero. So default header is zero. When you're trying to taking reruns for CSV, the default header is zero. Even if you pass or if you didn't pass, it's a default command. See, it can give you the same option. If you're trying to pass header equal to one, then it will go to, it will skip the first record and it will take the second record as a header. And if you want to pass a second one, now see, Volkswagen come into the picture. If you can, if you pass three here, now four will come over here, right? So if you want to take the header column, header, header columns, so wherever it is, you can pass the record number. Then it will take that one as a header. Right. So what's the next one? So how to display a number of rows? If you want to display only particular rows. So let's say I, I would like to display only five rows or 10 rows. Now you can pass n rows equal to five. So n rows display and number of rows you want to display. When you click on execute, it can display only four, sorry, five rows, five rows. Okay, and if you can display eight here, it can display only eight records. Okay, so that's all I have guys. Uh, please practice yourself and we'll come up with more parameters uh, 
for reading for CSV in next session. Thank you so much.